Hey friends, Mindy, Life on Purpose Coach. I coach the female entrepreneur to have more energy, more focus, and the best mindset so she can create greater impact and super great income. How's that sound? So I wanna to talk to you today just briefly about what's going on up here and how this is actually your sanctuary. You spend a lot of time in your head. I had a session with a client today, this morning, and she was saying, I'm talking to myself a lot, uh, a lot more than I used to. I'm feeling a little, and I said, oh, self-coaching. You're talking yourself through things that you haven't talked yourself through before. What would happen in the past was, let's use confidence, for example, you would get worried. Hey, Cindy Lou, you would get worried. So in the past, she would get worried. She'd meditate on worry. We've talked about that before. She'd focus on worry. When you focus on worry, then that feeling comes up in your chest, in your body, energetically. Worry, worry, you start to believe. Whatever this is, that's the outcome. Whatever it is you're worrying about, right? Your actions, the actions that you take foreshadow, they make that happen because you're moving from a place of not confidence, a place of fear, right? And a place of worry. And so we can't step into our own confidence without stepping out of fear and giving ourselves permission to step out of fear. So I would love for you to try this on for size. This is your sanctuary. This is, this is the inner temple where you do the inner work. You spend a lot of time there. So why not make the words that happen here kind words? Why not invite confidence to the party and tell fear you're not invited? This is, this is a no fear zone. This is a no worry zone. I didn't invite you in. How does that look? How do you try that on? How does this inside your mind become the inner sanctuary? First, you decide, and then you keep practicing it, right? Because it takes practice. Whatever is happening up here on a regular basis now, you've been practicing and practicing. So in order to change that, it's time to create a new state, think a new thought, feel a new feeling, right? Create a new belief, a new identity in there, take new actions and have new results. So when that worry comes up, that stressfulness comes up, that fear comes up when you're not feeling confident in a situation, how would you like to feel instead? Focus on that. Take the worry and literally see it and shift it. Like, this is not me. This worry is not, I. this is not my identity. See it, see the word, see the worry, see the stress. Like big letters, I see a neon flashing sign. Take it and shift it out of the way and pull up confidence, boldness, faith, trust. Pull that up and stare at that. You're used to staring at the worry. You can do it. You can focus on it and create feelings from it and create beliefs and actions and results from it. You've proven it to yourself over and over again with worry or with stress or with lack of confidence, with fear. Switch it around, flip that script. Just try it on and then try it on again and then try it on again and see how that feels, it will start to shift. It is just one tool in your toolbox that you can use. And the same client I was talking to, we were talking about, we've been working together 11 weeks, all the tools that she has in her toolbox now. And she goes, yeah, my toolbox is completely tricked out. I can flip that lid open and pull out reframe and pull out visualization and pull out calling in my higher self and pull out, hey, I get to choose how I show up in this situation and pull out flipping the script on meditation from meditating on worry to meditating on confidence or boldness, how I want to feel. Need more proof? Like, who do you know? that shows up the way that you want to show up and call them in, embody them in, pretend, right? Feed that inner child and pretend like I'm going to pretend today. I am Cindy Lou Miller because she is bold, 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 right? She is so bold. She is so confident and she's the kindest soul. All this great combination, right? So who are you 
who inspires you? Who has that quality that sometimes you don't find or see in yourself? Copy them, right? Pretend, put on that persona for yourself, not for anyone else, for yourself. How would it feel if I was bold like Cindy Lou? How would it feel if I was confident like Mindy? How would it feel? And just try it on. And it's gonna feel, you know, a little different at first. It's gonna feel better than worry. It's gonna feel better than fear. It's gonna feel different. So give it some time. Hey, Tori, thanks for joining. <laughs> so that is a tool for your tool belt today is shifting that. Remember, we're shifting. We're taking the worry. We're taking the stress. We're taking the fear and we're seeing it. And we're literally saying, this is not me. This is a habit. This is something that I used to fall into, but I dismiss this. Boom. What my client says, I love this. I revoke, where is it? I revoke your access. <laughs> I revoke your access, worry. Get out of here. I revoke your access, fear. All of a sudden, when you start showing up that way, those emotions, those thoughts, they have to start showing up to match you. Right now, they're controlling you. But as soon as you show up and you say, no, 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 no. I'm in control here and you practice and you practice and you practice. Then the next thing you know, you're living a life by design, not default, not defaulting to old habits, not defaulting to old fears. I would love to know how this works for you. I would love to know how this feels the first time you try it on and the sixth time that you try it on because, you know, uh, I'm going to liken this to shopping at TJ Maxx. You got to try it all on, right? You can't look at it on the, on the rack. And some days you don't even want to go in there because you don't want to dig around. But today's your day. Today you're going to go and dig and try on a whole bunch. Try on the feelings of boldness and confidence or wherever it is that you feel like you want to show up differently than the way that you are because the way you are is not serving you. So find those people to aspire to. Find those actions, find those ways of being, try them on, take them in, embody them. You're worth it. You are worth it. You are so not alone. I see you, the stories that are going on back here from long ago, don't have to be the stories that stay here in your inner sanctuary. They don't have to, but we can do it together. I'm Mindy your life on purpose coach. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to hear from you. And if there were any comments on this, Facebook on my phone is not my friend <laughs> and it never shows them. So I'll respond afterwards. But Cindy Lou, hope you are well. Tori, thank you for joining in. Bye guys.